welcome to our first video of the night, gang, gang, gang. I generally stay away from people who buy branded luxury and designer goods. It's not because I'm jealous you have the money to buy those things, but it's because it reveals a lot about your character. Half the world live on less than $5 per day. And instead of helping others, you're spending thousands of dollars on a literal label because you think it would increase your value in other people's eyes. It shows me that you don't have enough self-love and that you think that this stuff will increase your self-worth. You are So, conversation is, do we know our worth? Or what is self-awareness to you? Self-awareness. What is self-awareness to you? Um, self-awareness to me is like just knowing self in general. Like I think people don't spend time with themselves and to know what their likes and dislikes and where their lack of is so they don't work on themselves. So, yeah. Um, okay. But I think what I think is self-awareness is our surroundings, right? Mm -hmm. Our surroundings, the things that we're going through, uh, understanding yourself, knowing your confidence, knowing your weakness, uh, understanding where you're at in in society. You know what I mean? As far as men, men know where we at in hierarchy, right? I can go into a room and just I can be like, oh, yeah, he's more than. He has more than me, so let me submit. You, you know what I mean? Like, men don't have a problem with submitting and understanding the surroundings where they're at. You know what I mean? Um, and that's something that I always... That's that's okay. always something that I always say. No, no, most... Well, we're talking about a motherfucker who ain't mature. Yeah, if you ain't mature, you go walk in the room thinking you demand everything. But a man who's mature and yeah. who understands himself, agree he can you. walk into a room and... You know, I mean, become a wolf when he walked in as a sheep. He could become a wolf with all the other wolves. And that's something that men tend to kind of, I wouldn't say bring each other up. We kind of learn it through hardship, like through hardship. You know what I mean? We learn it by watching other men or learning values from different people. You know what I mean? Um, Self-awareness definitely has to deal with the person understanding who they are. You know what I mean? And, they, and a lot of people don't really know who they are. What makes them tick? What makes them go? You know what I mean? Because they, they find like, well, fuck, all I got to do is spend money on this, and this is my happiness. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Hey, and that's you... what me and Notice was having a conversation about. What is your level of success? Because that's a sense of awareness. Like, if you can have a level of success that's really realistic, you're straight. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely Most right. Most people don't. You put it, when you set forth a goal that's realistic, Instead of instead of putting a goal like, you know, I instead of that's something astronomical. Don't get me wrong. It's good to shoot for the stars and land on the moon. But don't have the expectations like you're going to be you're going to be like you're going to go from to from today to tomorrow. Just the king of the planet, the, you know, the god of the world. And I think some yeah. people they get carried away and like especially black people. Right. Like we're we're told like we're now now it's being like put out there and perpetuated that we're kings and we're uh and we're gods and stuff like that. So a lot of people are walking around like they shit don't stink. But we don't like the process. We don't like the process. Right. That's Everybody's gonna go to the job and be the boss. But nigga, you yeah. don't even know what the task are. <laughs> right. yeah. You can't you can't walk into this fucking establishment and be like, you know what? I'm gonna learn it one day, the first day on the job, and then I'm gonna be the boss tomorrow. No, you're right, Daisy. A lot of motherfuckers don't like the process. You gotta come in knowing, like, you gotta come in, work your shit, even if you did know the job, right? Even if you did this business or you done something like that before, you still gotta come and pay your dues. There's mm -hmm. a lot of people don't understand the the fact of paying dues, and I think once a person is like. Self awareness for a person for for me is a person that knows the checks and balances and the balances to be to be due. Period. Yeah, you know I, mean? I think that it's balancing yourself and knowing like how he said where you stand at and like 
Honestly, even with goals, I don't think there is a goal that you cannot reach. So if you want to be an artist, if you put all your energy in being an artist, I believe you'll reach being an artist. But you also have to make the steps that are before. Even when you make a dream board, you make it in between sets of timing. So that way, you know, okay, first I have to do this and I have to do that. And this is my ultimate goal. So either way it goes, you still have to go through the process. Right. But like you said, that people don't want that people don't like so, the process. So, don't get me wrong, I don't like the fucking process. But I, I, I still don't like finish. <laughs> right. Who does? <laughs> it's like I, I you know what? I'm a little different. I'm a little different. And I feel y'all on that because most people do not like the process. Right. So I don't want to be like, I don't want to be like you know, devil's advocate or the exception <laughs> to the rule, but I kind of like the process. Yeah. I, I kind of like the process in a way because I'm able to learn things that I maybe didn't learn before or yes. I didn't know, right? And yes. sometimes for me, like, it's better for me to hit things be like head on than for me to like, you know, oh, wait, well, let me go learn some things before, you know, I jump into it. I tend to learn better when I hit it head on. And I seem to find myself a lot further than the people who have took in the steps to learn what they need to learn to get there, right? So I look at people like, well, while you're in school learning that craft or whatever, I'm I'm out here actually putting the craft to work. You get what I mean? So what works in school may not work out here, right? Because Because technical and terminology and uh how you're supposed to maneuver things is not so much likely in the world when we get inside the world you get what i mean no. stuff that i know people right now they got master's degrees like full-on master's degrees they, i know i know a dude right now got two masters i have a cosmetology license and she told me what you're learning here it ain't even what you're going to do well fear and I was like, what? Then what am I doing here? She was right. like, when you go out there, it's going to be a whole... It's like you're learning it all over again on a different level. Like, it's it's not even what you're doing here. It's leading. And I'm like, okay. That's, that's because you're... But most jobs, you, what, what, is, what it's called is you're learning the blueprint. So that way, when anything comes at you, you're able to maneuver, shuck, and jive, and actually put forth what your skill is. So I get that because yeah. like, you can train me on anything. That, that's it's the same thing. Just like when I went to boot camp for the Navy, everything we did in boot camp, I didn't fucking do. While I was in the Navy. It was completely fucking different. I'm like, yo, like this. They like, yo, take whatever you learn in the fucking boot camp and put it out your mind. I'm like, why? You know what I mean? In any other job, any fucking other job. Customers I know, because they have to have traumatized you. I I know what boot camp does because I I was I was I was in ROTC and um uh, in Compton when I was in Compton High, and I was thinking about getting into it, but then I knew like most of the people there were a little perverted, and so I was like, never mind. And then um, my sister, my foster sister, got into the military, and she told me like they would get up. Crack of dawn, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning, random times, and we'll run in the rain, and I would be trumped. <laughs> I'll be off. And then she said that when she actually did go into, like, she went to Iraq because she was in there in the time of Iraq. Of Iraq. And so, like, when they had the Iraq war, and she said they, they kept injecting her with random crap. All the time. Every six months, they 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 got update injections. They got to give you for sure. But yeah, that's uh, wow. <clears throat> yeah, that's. But guess what? So I, was, I wasn't sick at all ever, ever. Even after see. the military, for like five years of my life, I didn't get sick. Like, but because I, you I, had to go to different places that you probably needed those injections for, because. They have different stuff out in different states. So what they call it is, it's called like in boot camp, they, they, they tell you that. First of all, in boot camp, they give you like 20 to 50 different shots. It's fucking crazy. Mm -hmm. And then when you get out of boot camp and you're in the military, they give you every six months, they give you a round of shots. So you're getting vaccines that they're testing on your ass for sure because you volunteered. You volunteered. So and then you, if you don't read that fine print, I'm pretty sure it says somewhere in that fine print, out of all those 
thousands of pages that you sign that it says it's okay to inject you with te- instrumental drugs and whatever this motherfucking case is. So yeah, um, yeah. It's, it's for me. It's yeah. just it's, so. It's, 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 it's crazy. I want to get to the comments right quick before we head to our next. He said, I feel that. Goofy Beast, what was you talking about? You said, I feel that. You know, we were kind of moving pretty fast. Yeah, um, uh, UK said, to me, self-awareness oh, is ahead. when you know you fucked up and a plan to fix that fuck up. Uh, that, that's called accountability. I, I think that's called accountability, not uh self-awareness, but I get what you're saying that that gives a person a sense of self awareness because he taking accountability for themselves. Yeah. So, yeah, I can I can understand what you if you're if you're meaning in that way, then I totally understand. Uh, grind and climb that ladder. Yeah. Yes. You have yes. Yes. But this is this yes. is a, like the, 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 like don't get me wrong, bitch. Like it's the, let's let's go let's let's take something that you're good at, right? Drumming, right? And then mm-hmm. they have this. They have like this drum off event, event, right? Mm-hmm. Are you willing to start at level one, or would you want to be put at level fifteen out of fifty? Um, for one, and from being realistic, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't no, do the competition. No, what I, I, no, I under, I understand that, but let, let's hypothetically say well, the reason I, why. I'm no, I'm finna tell you why. Well, hypothetically, 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 I would work from the bottom up, you know, because I understand that's you start at one, you right? start at like level 15 where you think you're at. Well, then- well, well, if you don't have no leverage, right? If you don't have any leverage, then you would take where you fit, right? Where they'll put you at. Well, you know if you what play I mean? at level 15, but you play at right? level 15. I- Let's say I'm a level 115. You get what I mean? No, but they 15. put they start me up at level one. I would still, you know, do that, but because I'm asking you a question. But me naturally, I wouldn't do it. Why? Because I, I have enough self self awareness to know that okay, I'm not going to get what I really want out of this, right? You know so that. when you're self aware, I do know that it's a competition. I know that when you're self aware yourself, you know how to play chess, right? So you, if if I know that there's a thousand drummers going over here to play this competition, and all the lights and camera actions are all over here. Watching these drummers, right? Over here, there's so much money that they're missing out on, right? That they just like let go because they're spending all their time trying to win this competition. Everybody trying to get the number one spot. I'm gonna Wouldn't go over here and take. If you were, what, huh? what, isn't that a chance to like glorify your your talents or to even like? For me, it's like we have me, a thing I, in the industry, bro. I, I, we I, have I, a. I see you passing up. On an opportunity, at least try it. If it didn't work out, fine. But if it does, what if it does work out though, Biz? Okay, I tell you, you, I tell you what. That could be you what. It's really great though, you know. I got drummers now, right? I know drummers now. Drummers now. I know drummers now that would do exactly what you're saying, right? Exactly what you're saying. These okay. motherfuckers would take all the fucking big opportunities they can, right? While they call Biz and Biz is on tour. <laughs> Biz is at somebody concert. Business performing for an event. Your, your self awareness, your self awareness gratifies 